What, what? <laughs> I say hi to everyone that I can, honestly. Halo 2 time. Finding all the terminals. Oh, I wish I could. But yeah, I'm going to be just taking the standard routes. Oh man, Jackaroo, I feel so bad. I really appreciate you coming. I feel so bad. Oh, the Halo 3 campaign. You guys are going to just... You guys are going to laugh. It's going to be so good. Yeah. My uh, my partner in crime, my lovely lady friend. Don't forget to donate. If you want to. Entirely voluntary, but don't forget to. Hey, no wise ten is here. You told me I wouldn't be in cameras. I used your oh, trick on shutdown in Halo 4 <clears throat> in my single segment run. Thank you for that. How's it going, Malta? Stand by no worries if you don't have money, honestly. Just like showing up, supporting Halo, that's uh. You know, we're all just here to have fun. Donations entirely voluntary. Don't have to if you don't want to. Or can't. <laughs> Can I do a ghost jump? Come on, baby. Aw. I swear you can jump off of this corner. Yes, I did it! <laughs> So exciting. I'm glad everyone enjoyed the disc tray opening first try. That was so exciting for me. It never happens. It took a while to, to close, though. That's never happened. I was debating if I should push it in or what. Which sounds totally weird, but... I jumped to the left for a second there. For those who've never seen me play Halo 2, I am... Not as good at it as I am at Halo 1, but I'm still, I'm still not bad. Goal here is to get a second plasma rifle. I got it. Oh, thank God. All right. As soon as you see those blue spikes come out of the Malta, there you go. Thanks, Marine. That's when you know you killed all enemies. And you just stare at it, and the dialogue kind of just goes in fast forward. Then it explodes, and you turn around. This is bad, real bad. And boom! I'm just full of useful information, aren't I? Oh, come back here, Elite. Usually you run at me. Are you not dead yet? Wow. That was a fail. Ah! Come here. Die. That was a little terrible, but I made it through, so I'm happy. Same as the Malta. The Covenant must have brought something with them. A bomb. Then they sure as hell brought one here. Chief, find it. Get the hell out of my armory, split off! Ooh, I've been a little bit lucky here. Usually he spawns on the left and that wastes a little bit of time grabbing the shotgun. Although, come to think of it, I guess I don't really need to pick up the shotgun, but it's kind of a comfort tool. Come on, Chief, this way! I don't even need to shoot those guys. Ah. <sighs> Halo 2 does actually have um, lasso. It's kind of unofficial in a way because there's no like bungee stats to confirm that you have them all. But 
Mr. Monopoly, he ran through the entire game with all the skulls on. You can find it on, on YouTube pretty easily. I think it's Halo 2 Dun Slasso. If you watch it, Grave Mind will melt your brain. I personally had to wear like a seatbelt on my jaw to kind of keep it from going. It's a really good run, you should check it out. CEA Slasso does indeed exist. I think officially they've they've changed the skull order, which has made like two betrayals entirely impossible. For the other Alico. Oh, here he is. He's done. Me inside your head now. Hey, Anakate is here too. You all right, Chief? Shake it off, Marine. Clear the crash site. Go, go, go. Oh, I missed it. You all right, Chief? Damn. Shake it off, Marine. <laughs> like how I did the jump and just kind of overshot it a little. Hey, I did it again. Eh, I'm just gonna go take the jumping route. That was awesome. I see one. Do, do, do. There we go. Good recovery, huh? <laughs> Not really. That was pretty bad. If I'm using a what? HD PVR? Uh, I use an HD PVR to capture an HD. What I'm capturing with right now is, um, it's called the Hapog or Hapog, uh, USB Live 2. This um, emptying the pistol is an old thing that I did a long time ago when I was first doing single segments of this game. You can carry weapons over into Metropolis. Um, you know, I can't remember my reasoning behind it, but you start Metropolis fresh, and I suppose in my head that made that made it legitimate. You know what? I'm not even gonna take the sneaky route around the left. I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> I suppose it would make more sense to just keep my weapons, so it would actually be a legitimate playthrough, but... Oh well. Yeah, my reasoning back then sucked. Never mind, I forget I said all that. That grenade jump at the at the beginning is very problematic. Usually I undershoot it if that's a term. I just barely clip the side and I don't get all the way up. This time I overshot it. Hmm. I'll remember that for next time. Tried. <laughs> oh. What difficulty I'm playing on easy. Covenant 
must be trying to regroup. <laughs> this is Don't the same <laughs> sound very moderator-esque. It's very adorable. This is not Halo Wars. Ha! Authoritative. I like it. <laughs> oh, man. I feel bad for you sometimes. <laughs> Slasso. Is that... Solo, legendary, all skulls on. Yeah, there you go. I've, um... I've reached a conundrum right now. You know how when you're gaming, and you're a man, and just, like, there's some parts of you that just, just kind of feel a little bit scratchy? Well, most people don't play on webcam. Usually they're just like, you know, they're just playing Halo and they're like, whatever. They won't know the difference. But I'm on camera right now and it's like... I'm, I'm, I'm debating, you know, if there should be any, like, awful scratching going on right now. I feel like I should because I'm just, I'm so distracted right now. This only happens when I'm speedrunning. When I'm playing, like, Halo 4 online, nothing. I actually have to concentrate. Sure, then my body starts rebelling against me. I'm going to start sneezing soon. It's really fun when you overheat in the middle of a run because you're wearing too much clothes. This happens to me like all the time. My room is freezing cold, so I overcompensate. <sighs> then I get boiling hot by the end of a run. And I get totally distracted and fuck up. That's quite a welcome party. And this level is going to be interesting. say that because sometimes the entire scarab deloads at the end. And then you can't finish the level. I'm going to try very hard to avoid that. I totally can't hear you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Should I get to this tricky driving section? Warthog, turn! Oh, he did the wheelie! Ah! I was so afraid that Wraith shot was going to just flip me over. But I made it! Okay, here comes the really tricky part. I have to be very careful in this area. So the scarab will load properly. Okay, I got the Wraith. Taking out the jackals helps to load the scarab. I don't know why, but it does. Of course, I can't hit the jackals. Oh. Waiting until the phantom gets as low as possible. It's also a great way to help load the scarab, so I'm hoping that I did that properly. really nervous that it's not going to work, because I saw a Jackal Sniper shoot at me. I don't see the Jackal down there, so I'm hoping this works. <sighs> Hmm. 
<laughs> speed run the multiplayer. I don't think it's stopping. Get their heads down. Actually, the, the biggest trick, well, just kind of general trick in this run, I guess, will be sword flying and sword canceling. The pressure launch on high charity? I never figured out how to do that. Oh, the scarab's moving. Oh, I was so nervous. I'm not even going to do the big grenade jump onto it. I'm just going to wait until it comes over here. <laughs> I'm taking no chances with this thing. Nice. The end went really well. Yeah. Hmm. Hey, Mator. Not Mater. Nobody call him Mater. He's not like the the truck from Cars. We are the arm of Mator. The and you are the blade. What was that st uh, strong bed? Well I take battle axe lessons at the rec center. The instructor. I can't remember what that guy's name was. Anyone remember strong bed? I used to love that guy. the instructor. There's a trick to activate the switch to the wall, but I've been having a lot of problems with it lately, so I just decided to do it. Oh, I'm really debating if I should do the sword fly over this. It's a really dumb idea, because like, there's an easy sword cancel like right there. But I'm going to try it. And he gets it. Runs. I'll take your ammo. I got them all. Okay, I think all the enemies are dead. Perfect. Here we go. Trying to sword cancel all the way to the door. Oh well. I need to waste more sword. I also have to do sword canceling. Ah well. I'm really trying to get the infinite sword. On Oracle. If I don't get that, I'll be very uncomfortable running that level. Maybe I'll take an extra second or two just to kind of empty the sword here. Oh wow, they dropped to 39. Wow. As you can see, I'm playing on the um, North American version, so you can't sort cancel through the glass. Only works on European version. Pal. The heretics are mobilizing their air forces. Get 
So Monopoly and I are trying to figure out. Oh, we're trying to figure out exactly how to make it work on North America. Hmm? Uh, I don't know. Is it like really bad? Or? Ah, it's okay. If it get if it gets out of hand, then yeah. But killing all those guys skips dialogue in the next room. You also have to be a certain distance away from that last elite in order to actually get the kill on him. If you're too close, the sword will just kind of do nothing. Also, if anyone wants to take a bathroom break or get food, um, nothing's going to happen in this level for kind of a long time. <clears throat> the elevator is pretty boring. I'm sorry. I wonder who the prophets would send to silence me. An arbiter. I'm flattered. He's using a hollow drum. I'm standing up here so half jaw won't uh so we may kill you. <laughs> <sighs> so he won't try and kill me. Once he turns yellow, I uh I just drop down. Oh my god, I thought he stuck me. I was like, oh never mind. He's just a dick. Since there's no auto-aim, it's uh, really hard to hit these things. That's why I pick up the sentinel beam. Whoa! Fail grenade! And door opens, get carbine. I wait till these guys come to me, because you don't want to sword cancel off of them accidentally. Because you fly right off the elevator. Hmm. The Halo 1 run went okay. Um, there was little mistakes peppered throughout. I made two gigantic errors. One was on the maw when I fell off the reactor in the reactor room. I'm sure there was something else that happened that I can't remember. I'm using the, the B button here. This way I don't slide off the elevator. I don't know who JS is, but... Very well hidden Easter egg, but I try not to challenge any of the flood if I can. Because even if you miss a sword cancel, and like, let's say I tried to sword cancel right here, and I got bumped into this wall really quick, I could go right through it and die. It's weird. So if I can, I'll walk up and get them, but I won't like, jump and try and sword cancel. Usually I just wait till they run to me. Unless they're standing absolutely still. You also don't want to, to challenge more than one, if you can. Because you can actually die quite easily on, on easy. If they hit you in the back, you're done. Instantly assassinated. It's not like Halo 1. You get hit in the back, you're just like, eh, whatever. Whoa! What's this thing doing? It's never done that before.
he he. Oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> okay, I guess they can kill you from the front too. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. I'm just gonna headshot these guys before they come anywhere near me. Fuck this. You're dead. Holy crap, I got vaporized. That was so cool. That was legitimately, legitimately the greatest thing ever. Fuck you. You're getting headshotted. Don't come near me. That was absolutely balls. Can I get a sight on these friggin' sentinels? Nice. He's finally dead. Okay, I'm gonna take this very slowly. Okay, you actually can't drop down here immediately because there's a kill zone the entire way down. Once the elevator moves that last time, then you can. spawn the, the elites. Yep. In this room, it's okay to challenge Flood. Unless you get, like, sucked into a wall or something. And that sucks, but... We are almost at 200 viewers! Yay! Oops. I don't know where my friggin' donate button went. I'll have to fix that later. Uh, just hit a cloak now. Fuck this. Ah! It's probably because I shot off that round before. That's how they were around that corner. That's never happened before. Let's just hope I don't get stuck here.
good. What what? Nice. Warriors, return to the landing zone. The orbiter will continue upward, cut this station loose and scare the heretic from his hole. So afraid I didn't line that grenade jump up properly. Oh, if only you could sword cancel off this guy. You notice how he flies straight up and then he just disappears? I tried to sword cancel off him to get to the top of the elevator, but it didn't work. I wonder if I'll slide off the map if I do this. Eh, not really. <sighs> They're totally not going to ignore me, are they? They're just going to follow me to every friggin' thing. It's bad, because if the friggin' flood get in your way, you start smacking the damn... the... cables, there you go. And you accidentally hit a flood, you waste like a second, and that's just... unacceptable. But, after they're all snapped, these guys stop moving. I think the sentinels just fly away too. Shopified is here too. Hello, Chapified. Oh, this next section is gonna suck. But I'm gonna try it. Oh, please let there be a, like a perfect sentinel. Come on. Nah, I'm not gonna risk it. <laughs> Usually you can sword cancel across this gap, but I figured I'd. I'll just. I'll just walk it. Seraph fighter? I thought those were only a thing in Halo Reach. Huh. need to fix that makeshift donate button that I made. Oh, look at that sword fly. Come on, that's worth that's worth at least like five bucks. Come on. Oh, and that too. Ten. Ten. Come on. <laughs> Donations are completely involuntary. Oh, me failing on that barrel. Forget. Just, just five. Just five. That was a nice sword fly. I never hit that sword fly either. Good. Sometimes he scoots away and I can't get him. Oh. <sighs> Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. That's why we just have to play more Halo together. Sir, we gotta neutralize those turrets. I'll probably end up timing everything after, yeah. I'm not keeping an official time of everything right now, it's kinda too much to pay attention to. I think my chat is frozen. Yours might be more up to date. I think so. That's okay. I can just refresh the chat at some point. So yes, my chat is indeed frozen. If anyone is asking questions, I'm sorry I can't get to them at the moment. 
Remember old school slide jumps? We had to like hold down crouch once you get it. And the ghosts are still here. Okay, so provided they don't get hit by a wraith and die. He shouldn't be able to see me. Alright, cool. Granola bar. <laughs> Look at that dumb wraith on the other end. Okay, now. Now we go. You don't want the tank. It's that third little latch on the bridge is the best way I can describe it. it. Shows up on my screen. That's when I hop on and uh, and go. That's how I know how to time that jump off the bridge. Of course, you can just skip the entire bridge with a, with a grenade boost, but I'm really not good at that. <laughs> it's kind of risky to do, so I decided to just take the safe route that I always take. Going down here loads the next area. Running into that wall is no value whatsoever. It's just kind of happened. Come on, ghost. Up the wall. There you go. Now I'm getting outside the map, which is notoriously easy <laughs> in Halo 2. I'm skipping a whole bunch of walking and stuff. It's a much riskier route up here, but this is a safe route that I developed a long time ago. Okay, now I just kind of hit here. Don't fall down. Oh, perfect! And that's, um... I'm not exactly sure which section I can describe it as. It's like the waterfall section? I don't know, but you just kind of dip your ghost down just enough to hit a load zone. And then you can just go on top of the map again and get to the final area. Eh, I can live with that. <sighs> okay, hold on, um... What is up with my... Why did that just turn invisible? It makes no sense. Oh well. Okay. Okay, now this section might take a while. Oh wait, no, he spawned right away. Awesome, never mind. Sometimes that jackal won't be there, so... It takes a while. But I was very lucky. You just kind of step over there, spawns the gondola, and you're on it early. Woo! I'm going to use this time to uh, refresh my, my chat. Hmm. Weird. Yeah, for me it's not working, but that is okay. I'm just gonna copy the link and all. I'll just try it again later. So yes, I'm not looking at the chat right now. I'll try and explain everything I'm doing as I go. This is an old trick. If you uh, overload like a beam rifle or a plasma pistol, at a certain point you can throw two grenades. Hey. Did I not kill uh, an elite? I guess I didn't. Where is he? Hero. 
I need to make a thorough survey. Sure. This is a weird angle. Hmm. Usually those two grenades take out both elites. I guess he got away. Oh, don't go too far off the edge of this gondola. Otherwise it starts going backwards. That's always really fun. When this grunt starts getting farther away. You're like, what the fuck is going on? possible to skip these drones, but I'm really bad at killing the jackals in this room. Just what you need to do in order to do it. There we go. That was my plan. I just wanted to take that area slow. What? Um, this is what my sword flying looks like see that. I use my left thumb and I drag it across the Y and X. Oh, oops. I totally forgot to do this section. A lot of people use the, the claw. They kind of bring their, uh, their index finger over, but I never really learned how to do that that well. Skirty taught me how to do it with my left thumb a long time ago, so... I just use that. Okay, I'm going to try and load the, the stream again. I like being able to look over at the chat. I've intercepted a secure transmission okay, it from seems to be working. Area, Just wait until the chat called... loads. Hi, Cherish. It seems to be a formal apology to the prophets of truth and mercy. Hmm? Apparently, <laughs> regret jumped the gun when he attacked I love you. Earth. He's asking the other prophets to <laughs> forgive his premature arrival. If Our Nemo was actually in this ocean, was that explains I would why there freak so out. Prophet would have such bad intel about his enemy's home world. Also, asking if I do a one handed or two handed. That's always funny. Oh shit! <laughs> Crap! <laughs> that was supposed to be a sword fly. Nice! That was wicked. <laughs> Sometimes that can happen, you just fire off around at something. That was good. Ah! There's a wall! I looked over at the chat. I guess it was good that the chat was like closed for me for a while there. I was actually concentrating. Nah. That sword fly is so hard to do. Oh wow, that sword had less energy? Huh. Load! There you go. Halo 2 is coming along nicely. It's a Halo website. Halo Waypoint, that's the, um, I think, the website 343 Industries overseas. Regret's carrier just received a response from High Charity. A very well encrypted message from the Prophet of Truth. My hand is so cold, I'm sorry. Listen to this. Your haste has jeopardized the fulfillment of our covenant, threatened our grand design. That you shall be spared a public display of our contempt is thanks only to mercy and his wise counsel. Truth, mercy, regret. <sighs> My stomach is feeling okay. 
I'm hoping I'm hoping that holds. Lots. Mm -hmm. I'm I've just been kind of picking at it here and there. There's still a lot. I guess we should probably eat the whole thing eventually before it starts to fester. I don't think that would happen in time, but I'm gonna miss the slide. I will. How's it going, you two? So far, so good. We're approaching the main temple now. Roger that. I'm as close to the <sighs> as I can get. There's some sort of barrier. We're trying to find a way around it. I'll keep you posted. God, I hope that thing doesn't disappear. No, even I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna hold on to it for dear life. All right, fail sniping, ladies and gentlemen. Oh wait, where's the elite? I can't even fail snipe. Oh, never mind. He gets the double. <laughs> Remember that thing that happened with the fuel rod cannon when I shot it and it blew up the grunts? That's why I empty the rocket launcher so that doesn't happen. Female is my girlfriend. I think Miss Slinky will be here for the full 10 hours. I just don't know if she'll stay awake for the full 10 hours. Oh, he still tries to attack me? Ah! Wait, is he, like, not dead? Okay, good. I was worrying for Cortana's little speech there. I was freaking out. Good. You know what's really fun is that I totally can't remember what level I'm going to next. This must be Sacred Icon. Yeah, okay. I was freaking out for a second there. Sacred Icon is unfortunately also kind of a boring level. It's a lot of this. What's happening right now, just walking. Hang close to one of the shield generators. Many of my groups have fallen attempting to take it down. Let's see if you fare better.
I always have an internal debate every time I go to one of those elevators. Left or right? I'm expecting to fail at some point in this in this mission. Just go completely the wrong way. I'll be able to take that in a sec if you want. I have to remember to take a couple aspirin at some point. My neck is starting to get there. Hmm? Like, I'm okay now. I think killing this thing makes the, like, doors open later. It's as best as I can figure out. There we go. We got it. You can't see me. You can s totally see me, can't you? Oh shit, don't close. Do not close on me. <laughs> My camo failed me. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna do that fancy trick that I showed. I'm gonna take the safe route. Ah! There's flood everywhere. And these guys actually do damage to you in this game. Halo 1? Not really. Like the little popcorn flood? They'll kill you. As I believe I demonstrated quite well in that little shortcut video I made. <sighs> Ooh, quarantine zone is after this. I think that's when I'll officially take some aspirin. Hitting the sides usually result in you going down here a lot faster. Having trouble hitting all of them. It's okay so far, but... Oh well. There's a slide jump here. I'm not going to do the actual jump. I'm just going to slide a little. Because if you hit these doors, 
and the, um, and, well, and they open, and you're too close to them, you'll just die. It's bizarre, but... There's a sword fly over that gap, but... Oh, that was a failed sword cancel. I see a rocket. Where are you coming from? Perfect. That's exactly what I needed for this area. Robert, what are you doing? Oh wow. Half job talked to me really quickly. If I could just kill this flood, we'd be in good shape. More rockets? My god, I was worried I wouldn't be able to get a rocket launcher. I think I got him. I'm hoping I don't die by some mysterious means in this area. Oh, come here. Come here. Like that. That would have been really funny if I died there. Oh, cool. Freaking Phantom showed up. Nice. That was a quick final area. That was beautiful. Carry my weapons over. Oh, quarantine zone is always nerve wracking. No matter how well practiced I am. Something always goes wrong. Just one little thing. Keep moving. I'm on my way. Like that, for example. <laughs> that. <laughs> Still going. We got this. We're good. He, does this. he did it. He did it. We got it. Good. That jump went well. I'm not going to go on top of the map because that's very problematic. You okay over there? I have water on my desk if you need it. I'll uh I'll get it to you eventually. <laughs> uh I'm a terrible boyfriend. I think I should have a bumper sticker on right now. How do you like my driving? Come on, baby. Oh! And he, he gets it. Okay, go to the left. This guy won't hit you. Good. I'm pretty much home free at this point. Hmm. 
right now I'm just getting on top of the gondola so I don't have to do anything. Nothing shoots you. You really don't even have to move. This is cool. You can actually see... You can see my legs just move on their own, like, right now. Goodbye, legs. <laughs> and you just stand here, and that's it. Me and Grumpy need you for some sweet stuff. Thanks, little man. I will seriously be doing absolutely nothing for this whole gondola section, so if you have uh, something you want to do real quick, yeah, like go to the bathroom or something, oh, might as well do that now. I know, my hands are freezing cold, right on the tops, because they're just kind of exposed. need to take some aspirin, because I really don't want my neck to stiffen up like it did yesterday. Hmm? <laughs> oh wow, that's fancy. What the hell is this? Mini packs! <laughs> Probably shouldn't eat that. Whoa, these are weird. I'm debating if I should even take two. Just getting a picture of MC instead of the run. Ooh. may have to update your um, Adobe player. I think that's what it says when you first join Twitch, if you can't see the stream. Ooh, we get to watch me uh, fail at taking pills on stream. I take them differently. Love is wanting to cuddle and strangle your woman at the same time. <laughs> ah! I know. Speaking of disgusting, I caught a little bit of a taste of one of those pills. It tasted like underwear. I had to apply a taste to underwear. <laughs> That's what I would give it. Woo! Oh, man. Oh, I really hope my neck doesn't stiffen up. I'm going to be crying by the time we get to Halo 4. We're at 270 viewers. This is awesome. Woo! Hmm? Eh. <laughs> Alright, whatever. It's okay. I'll just keep pointing. Pointing everyone to the donation. Donate in the description! I know you don't have to, but you should anyway. <laughs> so much for the voluntary thing. Why should I jump off this thing? You know, I'm just gonna wait until I'm absolutely certain that I won't die. There we go. <laughs> Smart idea. It's so heartbreaking when you fall off that thing. Oh, terrible. There's actually a trick to get to onto the other gondola. Can I see the SMGs? I want to see the floating SMGs.
I will be speedrunning ODST and Reach as well. Oh, excuse me. Grave mind. Right. The faster you can kill those brutes, the better. You know, I can never skip the damn enemy spawn in this area. You do it by going in this door and just standing in a certain spot, but I never figured out where. Oh, I don't think so. Why? Ah. Sounds like a good idea. I am basically fighting Donkey Kong right now. Okay. Whoa, brute plasma Let rifle. Remember the these things? The door. Look how fast these things fire. Holy crap. You've got to take it from him. Let me get these doors. Go. It'll be easier to track truth if I stay in the network. Think about updating the description. It's it's weird. I don't know how to make it look nice like it's all just on one separate line. I think you have to do some like right this way. some coding of some sort. It's like way more fancy. It actually is, but just pressing enter doesn't seem to do it. It all shows up on one line, but I'll try. Hey, where'd my uh, where'd my beam rifle go? Good, I got them both. I think some guy's still gonna chase me though. I get hit with a friggin' plasma pistol. Huh. I think I pushed that brute right off the map. I panicked for a second there. I thought I was gonna die. There you go. Okay. Once Cortana says that, you hide down here for a few seconds. You go up the lift. 
You'll see all these weapons flying everywhere. I don't know why, but it skips all the fight on the lift. Lift is clear. Step on in. Voila. I don't sword cancel off those elites because if you if you do sometimes you skip a load zone. I'm able to sword cancel off these guys. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm gonna sword cancel off that guy. All right, here comes the most nerve-wracking sword fly on this level for me. I hate this fly. Whew! It's always a relief when I see myself flying over that freaking canyon. Two fifty. I got a checkpoint. I'm tempted to do the really tricky sword fly, but I'm not going to. There's a brute down there that you can fly off of. As you would expect, you go flying, and it takes you all the way to this uh, lift. It's the best way to describe it, I guess. Stupid sword fly right there out of that first brood. Saves like a second. We didn't open the door fast enough. Fail the sword fly up the ramp. Nope. Oh, I wonder if I can get the cancel across the chasm. Or canyon, wherever the fuck this is. Nope. <laughs> oh well. It's still faster than. Oh. I'm going on top of the map to the left. It's like one of those no risk shortcuts. Like, even if you miss, it doesn't really matter. However, getting slashed by that sword guy would have been quite embarrassing. I can't remember the reasoning why I behind killing that elite. <sighs> I'm sure there's a good reason. Killing these guys and this sniper. Usually these guys get in the turret. And if you do the fly right, which I hope I did, you skip the hunters and elite that come out of this door. Perfect! We're looking good. It's like a golden opportunity to assassinate that guy. Oh, oh, yeah. I saw that coming from a mile away. At least I got a checkpoint, right? <laughs> it's two deaths in Halo 2. Oh, no. Killing the drones is like the most important thing in this room. You're close to this uh, like middle structure when you kill everything. Cortana spawns early. 
closing on troops' position, Chief. They'll need your help. Good. That was an awesome death. I think I have two deaths in Halo 2. This is for good. I'm getting confirmed reports of... Oh, is this guy going to follow me? That's so adorable. Let's get the index and find a way out of here before things get really ugly. turn to the left. Oh, come on, Neck. Do not stiffen up on me. Oh, uprising is always scary to do. Just this first part. Oh, crap. I'm just going to go for it. Come on. Do the fly. There you go. Usually it's easier with camo, but I was lucky enough that the brutes are stupid enough to just stand there. They're like, come on, do the fly. Oh, come on, get out of the way, you Donkey Kong looking piece of crap. Ugh, how do they go over there? <laughs> I love doing that so much. It fills me with glee. I still do that in matchmaking too. Ah, I missed the fly. No big deal. Make sure to get this. So unless, if I do not get brute shotted here, this should be fairly simple. Oh. Good. I'm on top of the map. Good. Originally I thought I had to do a boost up there, or a sword fly up there, but... Nope, you can just jump up. You can get yourself wedged in the tree and you just go up. Now we're on top of the map. We're skipping, uh... Pretty much the entire level. There's like a huge driving section that we just skip. And here's a weird trick. If you just kind of edge over here and then walk slowly, level ends. You don't have to drop down. What? Ooh, nice. Hi, Charity. We're almost done. It's this level and then one more level after it and we're done. Alright, let's take bets. Is it going to be the sword guy first? Oh, it is. And he doesn't have shields! Wow! He was kind to me today. Sorry, my hands are so cold. <laughs> I'll disable this list once you reach the top. That'll slow them down. I hope. They're so cold, I'm actually... What? Oh, nice. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, where's the brute? I was freaking out. Where's the brute? I need to sword fly off of him. Yeah, and you step into that lift, it starts loading, and as long as no flood kicks you out, like this guy's trying to. Good, and then you go over. Over 300. Perfect. That's awesome. You guys are the best. That flood, on the other hand, was not the best. Where's the freaking jackal? Usually there's a jackal to the left, and he's like the perfect sword cancel or thing. Ah, yeah, well. 
I don't know how to do the pressure launch in the elevator. I may have stated this before, but. Ha! My sword flying is quite good today. Minus that hilarious fail on regret. It's not bad today. That was one of my worries about doing Halo 2. Sword flying is very hit and miss for me. It probably is for everyone else as well, but like... Some days, it's just, it's golden. You can't miss. And then other days, it's just awful. It's like trying to open a doorknob with your teeth. I was trying to think of a really good analogy, and that was the best one that came up. Ha! Ah. Every elite that got fired? Like all the elites that I killed? Space Death, we're in Halo 2 right now. Oh, this sword flying is just wonderful right now. Take that. One of these guys should charge me. Okay, I think I killed enough of them. Good, loads. That sword fly that I did before the elevator, normally I get some frag grenades from there. And those make cleaning up that room just like a little bit easier, but I totally skipped them, so. Thanks for reminding me, Bob. Damn it. It's only the second game. I have four more games to go. I knew the Covenant was good at repurposing Forerunner technology, but this is amazing. They've been using the Forerunner ship's engines. Come on, baby. There you go. See what I mean about hit and miss? As it is disengaging, uncoupling itself from the charity's power grid. Oh. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> Perfect, I got in the Spectre first try. Man, remember Spectres? Yeah. What was that damn vehicle? Were they in Halo 3? No, those are the Prowler, right. I don't know who I'm conversing with right now, but I totally just remember that. That's awesome. This goddamn brute specter. Uh, I don't know how to time that grenade glitch, so I'm just gonna smack these damn things until they die, and then grenade them. jump coming up should be so much fun. Every area that I'm I know that I'm not entirely well practiced in is like as soon as I'm getting close to it I start freaking out a little bit. Concentrating. Oh well. I'm sure there's one in this room I can borrow. Although, if I don't get a beam rifle. This I'm 
make this area very interesting at the end with Tartarus. Now you have to hit these brutes hard in order to get them. I really should Oh, okay, good. Okay, there's beam rifles here. Woo! I'm starting to panic. I need a beam rifle for Tartarus. Okay, once you kind of backtrack and hit that loading zone. Um, there's a bunch of wraiths in this area that the Scarab kind of stops at to shoot at. Tripping that load zone means they're um, they're not there, so it saves quite a few quite a few seconds. To my knowledge, I believe that's I believe it doesn't I believe it stops at at the race to shoot at him. Maybe it's just doing that anyway because that's what it sounds like it's doing. Johnson is actually teabagging with a scarab. It's perfect. Whoa, hit and miss. Can't kill this thing. <laughs> Still not dead? Wow. This thing's a tank. Come back here. Let's make sure that this thing does not fall off the edge. Now we just have to wait till the till the scarab gets to kind of a a, a waypoint. Why is that kind of a waypoint? It just is a waypoint. I really should have thought the whole donation thing through like a lot better. Actually put, this is for Habitat for Humanity. See you later, Chapified. Hey, clear the door. Hey, bastard. Knock, knock. ODST. Taking a while to blow up that door. Should blow it up now. I guess not. He's really taking a while on that door. There we go. And then once you hit that part of the wall, you skip everything. So now I just need to quickly... Good, I got the shotgun. That's like weirdly difficult to do. I also can totally die on this setting. It's happened before. On stream, too. So I have to wait for him to get to, like, right here. Oh, these elites are, like, right in my way. Come on, Tartarus. Get him. But don't come after me. Oh, my 
being so cautious right now. There we go. Alright, game over. Level should end eventually. There we go. It's freaking out. Yeah. Can I skip this cutscene? I suppose not. Oh. Oh man, headphone hair time. <laughs>